Hey everyone, really excited to be here today. I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite Lebanese dishes called Mujadra. This dish is awesome on so many levels. So first, it's really yummy. Uh, second, it's um, very healthy. Uh, third, it's extremely easy to make. And fourth, it's, uh, it's very cheap. One of my earliest childhood memories was sitting in the kitchen with mom um, in Lebanon. And she used to make mjadra all the time. And so she used to make it and I would sit in, in my toddler chair and uh, literally overdose on mjadra, like stuff my face with it. And there's pictures um, of, of me just like eating this. Um, and in fact, I think I ate so much of it that later in my life, I just developed a stronger version to, to mjadra and almost an allergic reaction. It, is now one of my favorite uh, things to cook for the family. Like I make this dish like once a month at least. Let's just jump right into it. You can use different types of lentils. Uh, today I'm going to be making it with green lentils. You can also make it with brown lentils or with Esten lentils. You know, any of these work really. Uh, you need onions. Okay. Just uh, regular uh, onions. Uh, you need some rice, um, medium grain rice, could be long grain, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be using medium grain rice here, uh, Cal Rose today. Uh, and then you need salt and olive oil. That's it. So here we're using an instant pot, uh, which is kind of a digital pressure cooker, but you can really use any pressure cooker and the principle will be exactly the same. By the way, you don't even need a pressure cooker. You can use a regular pot. The only thing that would change is the cooking time um, would be an hour to an hour and a half instead of 30 minutes. First thing we need to do is measure two cups of, uh, of lentils. So we're gonna put these lentils here in a strainer. And the reason why I put them in a strainer is because I'm going to be rinsing them uh, just with tap water in case there's, you know, any, uh, any, you know, dirt. Peel these two relatively large onions. Cut it in four pieces. And you literally just dump this right in. Then I'm going to measure, uh, I'm going to measure out a third of a cup of rice. All right, so we have our onions and lentils in uh, our pressure cooker, the instant pot over here. Uh, next, add salt, okay? One uh, tablespoon, okay, of salt. Um, and then you can always adjust the salt after, so when the dish is done. Okay, next is we have to add some water, okay? So now here's, this is the only part that's um, kind of important to, to, to pay attention to because that's it, this is it. After this, we're pretty much done. Is we need to have roughly one inch of water above where your lentils are, okay? So you measure one inch, maybe an inch and a half uh, of water. So when I add water to this, you're gonna see the onions are actually gonna float, okay? I realize this is a very Lebanese way of giving <laughs> instructions. Okay, so I added my water, and as you can see, the, the onions are gonna float. Okay, that's normal. So I'll run you through the instant pot way. Uh, but once again, if you have any other pressure cooker, the idea here is to uh, cook this for 30 minutes at high pressure. So I close my lid. Okay, make sure my pressure valve is uh, set to, uh, to pressure. And here we're gonna go to pressure cook, okay? And go up to 30 minutes. Here it is, 30 minutes, cooking at high pressure, and then you're gonna turn off your keep warm. That's been 30 minutes of um, cooking at high pressure. So now to, to open this, we need to basically uh, blow off some steam, literally. So we're gonna open um, and release. So take a wooden spoon, which actually is gonna be needed for the next step. Nudge it very little bit. You see it starts vaping out, okay? It's gonna take a little bit of time, huh? So don't worry if it takes you like a couple of minutes. There we go. All right, so here it is. You see, you just heard this little click. Uh, the click, is basically this 
uh, valve is just like dropped down and you don't hear any pressure, uh, any vapor coming out of this. So here we go. Okay, and this is what we get. Okay, so we get our lentils, we get the onion, it's been cooked, it's been cooked really um, well. And if I take my spoon and I go in here, I'm gonna see it's uh, the water is here, which is a very good sign. Otherwise, if there wasn't enough water, then um, the th you know it will basically uh, burn um, if all the water is evaporated. But this is exactly how I want it. If your um, jadra is not wet enough, if there is less water, actually, even if it's at this level of water here, as you can see. I would advise you guys to add a little bit more water because you want the rice to properly cook in there, okay? And we're going to be cooking it for 15 minutes and the pot's going to be open, so, so we're going to lose some, some water, it's going to evaporate. So I'm going to go to saute mode right here, turn it on. Um, it's on low, so less, and I'm going to adjust the time down to, we're going to say... 15 minutes, okay? Now it's gonna beep, you're gonna hear it beep, this means it's on. There we go. We're gonna have to stir this continuously for 15 minutes until your timer here uh, is done. So th this machine will stop after 15 minutes, uh, but if you don't, if you have an analog pressure cooker, uh, you just put a timer and you, you'll check. So the um, 15 minutes of cooking are, are over. And um, as you can see, now if I take a scoop here, if you look very closely at the rice, I don't know if you, you can see it in this video, but um, you can see that the rice is actually uh, cooked. How do I know that? Well, if I observe very closely, I'll see that the rice um, is cracked. Some people uh, like to basically um, grind this down to uh, to make it like really, really smooth. But you can always like basically grind it down to get like a hummus like texture. I personally prefer keeping it this way. Um, you know, it's just personal preference. So I've measured out about a third of a cup here, 80, 80 ml uh, milliliters. Uh, and you just stir it in. It's important to do this now before it cools down because then you won't be able to stir in your olive oils. So you have to really let it cool down and you'll see that after it has cooled down, the uh, there, it's gonna form a crust on the top here. The texture you're gonna get actually is gonna be similar to hummus, like that kind of like thickish um, sort of pudding like. So you can scoop it out, put it in, in your bowl and add to it, um, whatever you know salads you like uh, usually it goes well with like very basic uh, lettuce tomato cucumber situation as i said uh, fatouche is a great pairing with it all right so and that's it we're done you have your mjadra ready uh, enjoy it um, it's going to be delicious uh, of course if you have any questions or comments uh, anything um, just write us I'll, I'll be very happy to answer your questions and uh, help you make the best mjadra you are able to make <laughs>